Travis Van Goodsell. I was in the midst of doing volume or episode two of investigating Mormonism, which I just started this morning, when uh, uh, searching for the Scottish Rites and, and a Russian who had done a paper on early Mormon Freemasonry. The internet went down. Sure, it's just a coincidence, especially with the coincidence that I noticed I've been still monitored by hackers for the last couple of days now. Just a coincidence. So this is what I warned the judges in the federal court in my lawsuit against the church. Is that I'm under attack. I need to petition for a redress of grievances. And they denied it. And as a result, they got away with their crimes and they're resuming their attack. They will not leave me alone. They won. And yet they still will not leave me alone. This is how serious a threat the church is. It's not just the YouTube employees who have been constantly giving me grief still. As today, they were trying to keep me from signing in. <laughs> and, uh, yes, upload delays or res uh, processing delays have again resumed. <clears throat> the church won't leave me alone. And that only means one thing. They're evil. They're not good. They're not Christ-like. Christ didn't destroy the Pharisees. <laughs> you know, his his uh, fanatical regime of militarization was not against the Pharisees. <laughs> Did you know Jesus had an AK-47? So it's just it's it's sickening that they think they can bully people to I don't know convert return to church oh okay you, you've beaten me up enough I, I can I confess the church is true <laughs> please don't assassinate me anymore <laughs> that's just what is in Mormons heads to think that might makes right I, I just wow uh, if you guys cannot defend your own religion by simply coming out and telling the truth how in the world do you think you're the true church if <laughs> you can't even defend it and so it's just wow you know so yeah the videos that I'm doing investigating Mormonism and I've done the few lately that led to this uh, series uh, deals with uh, the facts of Mormonism that the church doesn't want you to know. <laughs> they don't want you to know the truth. They're purposely spreading the lie, the fiction, the myth. Oh, Joseph Smith saw Heavenly Father and he said, Oh, Joseph, I have a work for you to do. All the Christian churches are false. But you're going to start a real, true Christian church. As we'll show them <laughs> and and uh, never mind this concept of us being Jewish <laughs> and so then you know three years later Joseph is visited by Moroni rather than Nephi as Nephi always claimed he was and uh, yeah, it's, Mormons would rather believe the fairy tale rather than find out the truth. And like I said, the truth is awesome. Why doesn't Mormons want to know the truth? Why? 
you know, even the ex-Mormons, they hear a lie that they say, oh, I can't handle that lie. That, that's too much for me. Polygamy, murder, I'm not a translator, uh, white supremacist, <laughs> okay, I'm out. But nobody wants to know what the truth was. They all attribute the current church to Joseph Smith. They all say, oh, I guess Brigham Young was the true successor and, and so this Brighamite church is evil. I want nothing to do with the whole thing. What? <laughs> um, but yeah, that's the trap set by the church. The church considers ex-Mormons weak. They're weeding you out of the church on purpose. You know, the latter-day prophecy of the separation from the wheat from the chaff and the, the tares from the wheat, the sheep from the goats. That's now. And that's how they're doing it. Ex-Mormons are technically the wheat, the sheep, not the goats or the tares or the chaff. But the church has flipped it so that Mormonism will become the master race as they are purposely slaughtering as many as they can as quick as they can before 2024. That's their deadline. That's why I've been pushing church history. That's why I've been pushing astronomy and signs in the heavens. That's why I've put on hold the vocabulary for Paleo-Hebrew and all things of Egyptian picture glyphs. And so, what are you guys doing? Do we have another glitch? <sighs> so, I don't know if you're ever going to hear this video. But yeah, I just, this is how concerned the church is of silencing my information. They don't care about John DeLynn. They don't care about Exmo Lex. They don't care about Thinker of Thoughts and uh, Jeremy Runnels. They don't care. You know, they showed that they're bullies. They excommunicated them. <laughs> oh, ooh. <laughs> Big tough guys. Is that all you got? Yeah, I get to be assassinated. <laughs> the rest of you ex-Mormons, <laughs> you just get excommunicated. <laughs> I'm special. And so, it's just, yeah, you'd think that people would recognize, hey, wait, why is the church trying to assassinate him? Why not just excommunicate him and be done with him? <laughs> nope. <laughs> it's because I tell the real truth that the church is covering up on purpose. They don't want the truth out. And so, yes, the YouTube employees will not let me go. The church will not let me go. Whoever they ask to assassinate me, they'll assassinate me. I'm still waiting on the Amazon thing. They bumped up their game after the second lawsuit. So the first lawsuit, uh, they just tried to kill me with coronavirus or have me evicted right during the, the winter time, well, right at the end of the winter time. It was still kind of cold, but uh, yeah, the second time there was a weak attempt to have me evicted a second time because they said in the first one, oh, okay, we'll let you go this time, but we're going to keep this on file and use it against you in the future. <laughs> what? <laughs> it was fake in the first place. <sighs> I had the video evidence proving my innocence. And they didn't care. <laughs> proof? Screw proof. 
Yeah, and so, uh, yeah, they tried a little weak attempt uh, this second time around, uh, but the church then came at me with uh, Amazon. And I'm still waiting for the judge to rule on that one. I have not seen anything in the mail yet, as I would have expected it today. If not uh, today, or yesterday, or any time until Friday, I guess. But uh, The lawyers, I haven't heard from them. They would have immediately responded, just as the court did. So, I don't know. Alrighty, I didn't want to go long on this. But just to let you know, the church wants me dead. They don't care about John DeLynn, who's helping the church. Exmo Lex, Zelf on the Shelf, Thinker of Thoughts, you know, all those popular guys. You'd think they'd care, they don't. You know, they're helping the church weed out the weak. The white or the ones who don't want to be white supremacists, bully terrorists, <laughs> insurrectionists, murderers. So, yeah, I, I hope you guys figure that out before it's too late.